Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hey, dear Capricorn. Let's go ahead and raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. Deep, deep, deep. You're challenging your human, kissing your higher self. And let it out. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine Source, for allowing me to channel Capricorn Spiritual Guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like Many of you have just changed your outlook on working from home. Your energy in the beginning of the month is homebound in your career life. It is what you can do um, with the help of your ancestors in the property that you're already in. And it could be your apartment, it could be in your dorm, it could be wherever you lay your head. Uh, but it also is very embedded in behind those four walls that you call home and family. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I feel like at the uh, the beginning, the middle of the month, honey, you have this energy that says, okay, it's all about me. How can I restructure this? 
It's all about how I can make this work for me. And Capricorn, that's a beautiful space to be in because it's your energy. The new moon on the 16th is your energy. And, well, it's not your energy all the way, but that's where you are in the sky. You're back home. And this is a new beginning. And this is all money and love. So watch out for the love focus because I believe that you're going to truly be blessed in taking a few specific steps forward in your love life. But as far as your career goes, come into October knowing that things got to change and where you live. Maybe you live too far from your job, your place of work. Maybe you do need to work from home. Maybe you are blessed to feel that you can work from home, especially during this pandemic. Maybe you're starting to see that family means more to you than home does. Maybe you need to just make some adjustments, some changes there to uh, be able to help your family, be able to help the sense of security and stability in your home life. Uh, maybe there's just some forms you have to, to, to fill out, but you're going to have to really make some adjustments, jump through those hoops happily and willingly because by the 16th, the new moon is your career. It is in that step that you have to take in order to reach your goal. And you know more than anybody um, how true it is that you're going to succeed in your goals because you're going to be the last one there. You're going to make it work no matter what. And by the end of the month, this is a blue moon that is absolutely in your creative expression and being able to really fall back and reflect on the ways that you can make those changes and adjustments work for you to impact your wealth and really do it in a way that feels like you are purpose driven. Do it in a way that really satisfies your need to be just in your life mission but just doing work that you can do and that you love. So Spirit is saying, take a moment. In that moment of reevaluating where you're going, how you're going to do it, how you want to do it, before you let this frustrating energy come in, because you are transforming your way of thought, your perspective is changing. We see that here, uh, that your energy is changing that way. But you can see right here where these La Mariposas, the butterfly, is transformation. And so as you take that moment of silence to just listen to what Spirit is telling you to do and you stand for where you stand for what really matters most to you. You know, you're making some serious changes this month. Don't be afraid to get outside and make those, take that moment to, to be still. Be outside, you know, in nature. Again, the butterfly. Let the ancestors speak to you this month and guide you on which way to go. You might also be working with nature. You might be making those changes to um, just welcoming a walk during your day and just welcoming nature inside your work-life balance that way. But either way, show your gratitude and just know that spirit is always going to come in and speak directly to you whenever you feel like things are kind of just getting to you. When your manager doesn't understand, when Social Security is acting up and they, you know, want you to sign these other papers and now things have changed and uh, the, the politics of it and all of that, change your perspective, keep your peace and know that as you shine, you are really making things happen by just showing your beautiful smile and flowing with the energy and not owning it as your own. But because you are showing your attitude of gratitude and because you are allowing the universe to transform the energy within you and around you, 
by taking that moment to just stand still and listen for your spiritual guidance before you react, before you have anything to say, you are so blessed by it. You are so amazingly blessed by it. And it's a strong month of just being blessed in a way that blesses your family. And this is, honey, whether you're retired, whether you're working, whether you're unemployed, whether you're in school, these are seedlings that are going to be sprouting from the seed action steps that you take this month in your career life. So if you decide to come out of retirement and get into a part-time position, you know, look look it up. Look at the research. Look into um, the income requirements and the regulation and guidelines. Because I feel like many of you will be quite surprised, happily surprised, that the government really wants you to work <laughs> no matter what. And they're going to help you do that. And so a lot of the misconceptions are, oh, I can only make this much money and then I'm afraid to lose my benefits. Look into it. Thank you so much. Because I really believe you're going to find out that you are a lot more free than you think you are. And you have a lot more freedom that is open to you if you just open your perspective to it. You're free to do what you choose. And you are so protected and supported through these changes. I promise you that. It is, it's a lot more uh, freeing to know that you can move the way that you see fit. Even during this pandemic, you have um, options. Some of you are going to look into travel um, arrangements. Some of you are traveling. Some of you are looking into changing from the travel industry. Some of you are banking. I mean bankrolling off of the travel industry and your investments right now. But please consider this because travel is, is for it to come here twice and we're going to give you one more confirmation. Take the steps. To make things happen now. Thank you so much. Because when I tell you that your money is not going to be funny this month, you are planting those seeds of infinite abundance. And that's legacy. That is generational wealth. That is inheritance. That is knowing that you absolutely deserve and you are fully supported as Spirit just told you. Let me make sure you can read that exactly what spirit told me to tell you a little earlier that you're fully supported and taking these steps thank you so much thank you so much i feel like some of you just are saying you know you just really know that you need to get away And you're changing your perspective on how you have to do your work and, and how you're traveling, like you, like, like you said. Like Spirit said earlier, um, that some of you just work too far from, from your job. Or you, you live too far from your job. You work too far from home. And it's affecting your relationships at home. Some of you know that you've got to move um, and some of you know that just the changes that have to be made. Some of you, it's just organizing, restructuring. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your home environment. And some of you know that it's too toxic for you to work from home. And that has to change. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But... You are being guided to work on your root chakra, which is home, which is your foundation. And uh, this is grounding with your soulmate energy here. And so you might be working with your soulmate. You might have already realized that, you know what, we can't work together. <laughs> you might be just realizing that the roles have to change. And let me make sure you can see that. And really, as that shows here, see with your mind's eye. See the truth, but let your intuition be your guide. This is vitality. This is also sexual energy, so channel it appropriately. 
you heard the introduction, so, you know, be very wise and smart about it. Very strong, intense energy, very passionate energy um, here. And your energy, your forcefulness. So being guided with divine energy of your root chakra. But you're building your foundation. And this relates to the source of your energy and how you're building it. Um, think of this as your platform of which in which you will build up from. But this is a way to bring your dreams to fruition. Um, this signifies the beginning and really reveals how to create a solid foundation in real time in tangible form. And so with your soulmate energy here, let's go ahead and, and, and find out what the legend here is in your career. And you might just be realizing that, whoa, my coworker is a soulmate. You know, and I love that. I love it. It is time to face my true feelings with this energy. The legend here is it is time for him to leave her again. To use the script he always does at this point. He even knows her next line. She will say, how can you do this to me? But unexpectedly, she says, I love you. The words of the script die on his tongue. He struggles to get them out. Just a few words and he will be free. But they won't come. Suddenly, he clasps her to him. He loves her. This is the true freedom he sought. Your inspiration here is to enjoy the beauty of a rose. We must risk being pricked by our inner thorns. This offers a new way to live. The best incentive to change is love. Your personal inquiry to meditate on is what truth am I embracing? This energy indicates no longer living a lie Stepping into freedom. Key ideas to meditate on are freedom to choose, speaking your truth, choosing love, freedom through transformation, resistance to commitment, an unexpected outcome, new truths. Key words to meditate and build your affirmations on are authenticity treasure and trust thank you so much divine source thank you so much thank you thank you thank you capricorn you know october just opens up a whole new way of bringing family bringing love bringing your home life your abode, your sanctuary into your work life and having that balance. And if you can work from home, do it. If you're fearing it, look, in your, look into your options. I work from home and this isn't the only business investment that I have going on. Look at your, look at your options. And it allows me to, if I didn't have any clients from spiritual guidance, I have investments I have business um, investments that still keep us financially stable and secure and so always know your freedom that you have options and a few minutes ago my son came in and said can you please make us a smoothie I sure can after I get my work done I sure can but if I work for someone else, even during this COVID-19 pandemic, it would be horrendous. I was gifted with two, actually four altogether, but two I just, I don't know. I think I, they are, I don't know. Can you have primary chronic conditions? Well, that's what it feels like. Lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I would be in a world of trouble. Wouldn't know what to do. I can't be out there sacrificing and, and, you know, 
impacting my health for somebody else for an employer. And when the pandemic hit, my coaching clients, boom, they couldn't pay me anymore. A lot of people in our programs just lost their jobs and couldn't pay. And of course, I understand that. But because of the blessings that I have, I was able to help them. So you got options. Mid-month is your new beginning. That's the time for you to create wealth. And you're going to start it by just taking these actions that are specific, that are grounded in your connection with the divine, and these solid steps forward, just a baby step, and just stay consistent. And then by the end of the month, your energy is all about, and it's all about also mid-month, is all about your standing in the community, in that job, in that business opportunity, in the relationship with, like a partnership. And being able to really structure your business the way you want to, being able to really realign your role as an employee or an employer. And by the end of the month, I really feel, dear Capricorn, that if you're not loving what you're doing for a living, it's going to come crashing down and, and straight in your face. And you're going to see that, okay, I can see where I needed to make those changes before. And now I'm willing to make them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's never too late. You know, most of the people that I have researched um, that, are, that are business owners, that are successful, that are billionaires, millionaires, people that you know didn't even make it until late in their 40s. Most of them were 50. Most of them were really late 40s, mid 40s, late 40s, and in their 50s, before they really struck it rich, before they really saw that profit and the fruition of their dreams coming true, creating that generational wealth, leaving that strong inheritance that they want to and you're going to do it. You're going to walk away from anything that's telling you to, to shortcut it. <clears throat> and you know that you're not going to do anything that's those get-rich-quick schemes, the money-making schemes. And Spirit's telling you definitely to do it. But to, to know that you've got this amazing idea, this, this concept, and this opportunity that you've researched, you already can get behind it in your mind. And so now it's, an, it's, a, it's a matter of knowing that you don't have to totally give up what you've always done. But it is new. It's a new idea. It's a new investment. It's a new concept. But honey, you already know that it is a dream come true maker. It is definitely something that you are capable of doing. You are manifesting some powerful moves. Get out of your feelings. And it's okay to show your feelings, okay? It's okay to not keep it all up inside and let it be unhealthy. Um, your emotional health is of concern this month. And so just know that it's okay for you to feel all your feels and embrace those intense emotional situations and make the changes and the adjustments that you need to make in order to nurture and feel nurtured by your decisions and those that are in your home, are in your family. You know, the fear of having to do it and stay committed to it. We talked about that, right? Spirit already, I remember that. Fear of commitment. Very, very true. And just know that you have the freedom to choose and you have so many options here 
to be stable and secure and to be grounded in this new business opportunity that you are going to, you know, really be able to fall in love with because it is something that was divinely sent and it is a money maker for real, for real. And yes, you are going to be able to take care of your family. Yes, you are going to be able to be the type of woman or man that you want to be. Yes, you are going to be accomplished. Yes, you are going to be on that pedestal. Yes, you are going to be the one that said that is looked upon and admired and appreciated. Yes, you are the one that is filled with that fertile energy of making um these strong business moves and yielding such powerfully blessed, prosperous outcomes. That's your energy. And so, no, you don't have to fear it because what you're hoping is that your, your hopes, wishes, and dreams are going to come true. And honey, this is it. This is. They are coming true. You are sitting on some wealth. Okay? You are sitting on Yes, let's celebrate because there's money to be made and there's happiness to be received and there is achievements to be made and goals to be met. And at the end of the day, you're not going to do it outside of your integrity. You're going to make it happen. You are going to be happy with the decisions that you make and it looks really great for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so anything that's telling you otherwise of, you know, well, you need to take shortcuts. Uh-uh. Not this month. Oh, you got two. Not this month. No how. No shortcuts. You've got to really go through and you've got to do the work. And honey, this is why. You're so blessed. You are so blessed. You're so blessed. The miracles are real. They're coming in. Expect them. Because with 15, this is a new path. It's a new change. It's going to happen regardless. It's karmic. It's going to happen with or without you. And so act as if your dreams are coming true. And with the spirit of the chameleon, again, 14, going down to five. This is a karmic change. It is going to happen with or without you. And so this gift of the chameleon spirit, um, this is to prepare you for the changes that will greatly benefit you, which is coming in with the uh, cow spirit here. Okay. And so with both of these energies here, dear Capricorn, the outer conditions are changing for your good and you're required to come into harmony with them balance it out so you can co-create your greatest dreams and you know it when you're feeling sensitive you are going to be feeling sensitive with this energy that's good because that's going to come in handy for you because it enables you to determine how to best adapt to your environment And the people that are in it. While at the same time, maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Because even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, which you will be, the chameleon spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land. Adapting is necessary. So this is time of fortune for you. So act as if and do as others do until this new way feels familiar to you and completely natural because, honey, this is it. This is the Super Bowl, okay? This is the championship ring. This is the, the victory is in. You have scored. This is the goal being met in abundance, wealth, prosperity, Stability, security, longevity. Life is offering you a great lesson right now, dear Capricorn. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. So 
not all conditions are yours to match. Um, I feel like Spirit is telling you to distinguish yourself from others. Um, but as you merge into the background, you're learning. You're definitely watching. You always do that anyway. You're very keen, very keen percep perception, very perceptive, just very aware. And so right now, take the time, take the time to really focus on doing that just to smooth out the emotional imbalance that's here with this career change um, and with this work-life balance and choose some activities that are restorative to you, that are regenerative to you, that make you really feel grounded and avoid the drama. Don't be around any toxic people that are draining your energy, that are all about negativity. Uh-uh, you don't have time for that right now. And so just mm -mm, put your door up put your hand up, put your, you know, um, don't answer the call and just take a break. You might even need to take a break from social media right now, but self-care and that time out is the answer to any temporary uh, dilemma or um, funky kind of energy that you got coming in that's trying to urge you, pull you to act out of integrity. But you're not going to do that. I truly believe that. You're acting in with integrity because you know you got too much on the line and you don't want to lose it. And honey, when I tell you you are blessed, you are so blessed. And you own it. Yes, you can have all of it. All of it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Expect those miracles, dear Capricorn. I'm so excited for you. Expect those miracles to come in. All right, here we go. And these, this is your affirmation for this month. I want you to write that in your journal. I have the attitude of gratitude for the synchronicity I joyfully experience each day. Dear Cappies, I look forward to reading for you. Click the links down below. All of my sessions are private and confidential. And if I can help you work out your plan and plan your goal, I am here. We do have a couple of more spaces left in our six-month coaching scholarship program. So you can find all that out by um, just having a short conversation with me. I'm happy to see if we're a good fit to work together. Take great care, dear Capricorn. Mwah. And remember, Jupiter is still in your energy. Now, there's no question of how blessed you truly are. Jupiter is a blessed energy and when it is in your energy for the year that it has been in, almost a year, it'll be in a year in December of 2020, you gotta know just how truly blessed you are and how much spirit wants your money to grow. Keep being of service.